They left me in this stinking hole to die. They couldn't stand that I'd learned the truth, that I'd read too much and gathered too many ideas, that I had begun speaking up against my countrymen for what they were doing to the people of Elsewhere and Valinwood and even to our own kind. The Thalmor don't like loud mouths or keen, curious eyes, so they cut mine out. The ultimate insult to a devotee of Xarxes. Xarxes, the scribe of Magnus, who was just like Telos once. A mortal ascended. The Aedra, our ancestors, were paragons of virtue, beauty, and all that is good in this world. How exactly are our ancestors so different to the gods of men, I wonder? Are they not also descendants of gods? Of Lorcan? Would Auriel himself not look down his nose at us for fearing, and I have learned enough to know that it is indeed fearing, a god who has done exactly what Xarxes also did? The hypocrisy of it all! Of course they don't like anyone thinking like that, least of all their brethren. To hear such heresy from the mouth of one of their own? What an affront to their oppressive regime. And so they took what they could from me. My sight, my home, even the clothes on my back. They shattered my callion on the steps of the monastery and sent me off to Skyrim to rot in the land of my heathen cause. They should have slain me instead of leaving me to starve. They may have taken my sight, but they could never break my spirit. And I intend to use what little power I still have to fight the Thalmor as and where I can, in whatever small ways I might be able to manage. If we are supposed to be the most enlightened and divine beings on Nern, then let us prove ourselves worthy of that distinction with the strength of our hearts, rather than the cold, cruel might of our blades.